Hello again. Today I'm going to explain how to do a 360 degree flying reverse turning kick. In Inspiring Drills video number 6 I showed you how to do a reverse turning kick. So I'm going to assume that you already know how to do this kick. A 360 degree flying reverse turning kick will look like this. A good way to start learning this kick is to do a step rather than a jump at the beginning. This way you will learn the correct timing and how to position your upper body for the kick. Your kicking leg is going to be in front and you're going to step with the rear leg. So you step but make sure you go beyond 180 degrees. Because if you're turning and still facing the opponent then you're going to have to turn 180 degrees for the kick which is overextended. The maximum power will be gained at an angle, it's got to be over that side. So the way around it is to turn beyond 180 so you're facing that way. That means the target's over there for me, about 135 degree turn, that will get more power. So then you spin and kick. So practice that as a drill. But make sure you step fast at the beginning because when you're jumping you're going to be spinning fast so you've got to get used to that timing. The next stage is to practice the jump but without the kick. This will help you get high and also learn to get the right body position during the jump. So from here, you raise the rear leg, spring up, but end up in a slightly tilted position with your leg out to the side. Avoid being upright with your knee up like this. You need to be very slightly tilted so the leg can come around. And to get more high, use your arms and that also helps you to turn. So from here, like that. So practice that many times. So now you're ready to practice the 360 degree fine reverse turning kick in full. So you jump as before and you start the kick once you reach the apex. As you're bringing the leg round, it's okay to keep the knee bent but just make sure it straightens at the end as you make impact. Inspiring, it's more likely that you'll be doing this kick as a follow-up to another kick, for example a reverse turning kick. As you do the reverse turning kick, you're already spinning round, setting you up nicely for the 360 flying reverse turning kick. So you can practice this as a drill. It's quite tricky, but worth practicing. It's worth practicing this kick continuously because each time you land you end up in a slightly different position. So you'll learn how to initiate the kick from various positions. Some people are able to do a 540 flying reverse turning kick and it's very spectacular and fancy but for sparring it's not very practical so it's best left for demonstrational purposes but it's still worth practicing help develop your athleticism so that's it for today uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh, i hope you join me for my next video